Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive Terran or a creator. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and this was a suggestion of one of my dear viewers. So thank you very much for that, my dear. I hope you will get the clarity and the guidance that you need. And yeah, today it's all about your family's reaction to your future spouse. If you don't have a family, you know, it can also resonate with your loved ones in general or also, of course, close friends. So yeah, guys, as you can see, our theme today is the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Water. So as always, we have three piles for you. Oh my goodness, sorry, guys. You can either choose the deck or you can choose the crystal on top of it. So this is pile one. This is pile two. And this is pile three. So as always, feel free, you know, to pause the video or even meditate on the cards if you need more time. The timestamps will be down in the description box, but also in the comment section. And yeah, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see. How will your family, your loved ones react to your future spouse? Now guys, what we're gonna do is I will first get you some tarot and then also some oracle to end the reading with. So yeah guys, I'm very excited for this reading because I don't know, I feel like this is a very exciting one um, because you know, your family's or your loved one's opinion, it's pretty important when it comes to these matters because of course you want everyone to come, you know, get along and everything. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what comes out for you. So for pal one, for pal one, let's see. Let's get you a card. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Starting off good, we have the Ace of Fire which is also the Ace of Wands. Now, what we're going to do, my dear, I will first get the whole spread and then I will start with um, the reading because I sometimes feel like when I talk and when I shuffle, it may be a little bit, you know, like annoying. So I will just, you know, get all the cards and then, all right. Wow, we have the Eight of Earth, which is the Eight of Pentacles. All right, let's get you some more. Oops, <laughs> let's get you some more cards. Ooh, okay, we have the Torment, which is the Devil card. That's interesting. Oh my goodness, the Devil coming through. Okay, guys, you will see what this is about. So let's see. Oh my goodness. We have the Three of Wands. Integrity. Now we'll get you some more cards. Oops, please let the cards fall down. Let's get you, okay. We have the Queen of, the Mother of Earth, I'm sorry. Yeah, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get you another card. Let's see, oh my goodness, we have two cards falling. I'm just gonna take them both. We have, oh, we have the Ten of Earth, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. And we have the Mother of Fire. Okay. Mm. Let's see, guys. Let's get you one last card. And the card fell. Let me get it. Okay, you got Vision Quest coming through. Beautiful card. All right, guys. And at the back of the deck, you have the Six of Water, which is the Six of Cups and Pleasure. Okay, let me see. Let me make sure you can see all the cards. Good. All right. So, all right, guys. It looks good to me. Now, let's start. First of all, guys, with um, the Ace of Fire coming through. You know, Aces are all about um, new beginnings. And what I see is that no matter if you have been um, 
like it doesn't matter what's your like what the history of your um of your love life is no matter if you have like been in a relationship or even like if some of you guys are divorces or even if some of you guys have never been in a relationship at all the ace of fire coming through as the first card is such a beautiful indicator for whatever was um like whatever you have experienced when it comes to love it's like it's over because this is a new passionate beginning so with this card coming through right off the bat like from the beginning what your family or what your loved ones are going to see from the beginning on is how much love and passion you have for this person how much potential your connection has um for instance because i feel like if i give some information like some explanations uh, or some examples i'm sorry it's better to um to see what I mean. So first, so what I mean with that, for instance, is that, you know, maybe for some of you guys, um, you were in a relationship or just in general, sometimes you, you, you get in a relationship with someone and then it just doesn't really fit because you two do not really complement each other in a way where there is a lot of potential, you know, for the future. Because maybe... Um, you know, you, you're not really quite compatible or just things happen, you know, maybe just things doesn't really seem for you to work. But with the Ace of Fire coming through, which is like such a beautiful card, you know, to indicate um, potential, to indicate something growing, you know, something very passionate. And not only that, it's there's also such like beautiful creative um you know, energy within it. And this card, like this Ace of Fire or Ace of Wands, literally talks about the, like, um, the potential of, like, being able to manifest anything, so to speak. So for me, you two coming together is such a beautiful union to really create, because that's really what, um, for me, in a way, fire is also, um, you know, signifying to like the energy of creation and your family or loved ones are going to see that you two coming together there's so much room you know to create for instance create a family or even create a business business or just something beautiful a beautiful potential why because your chemistry with the ace of fire coming through your chemistry is very compatible actually guys um this is a message I get every now and then in my readings. I really feel like no matter your, um, you know, your chart, you are going to be really compatible. I always think of Kundli um, when I see that. So yeah, no matter your chart, you are really compatible. This is what I'm getting and this is what your family is going to see. Even if they don't know anything like about charts, they're just going to feel it. They're going to feel that you are compatible. And guys, with the Ace of Wands as well coming through, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to say it. Um, the chemistry also when it comes like to your sexuality um, is going to be really good. I mean, I'm not saying that your family is going to think of these things, but this is a message I also got coming through. So maybe someone in here just, um, you know, needs to hear it or likes to hear it. But this is a message I'm getting. I'm getting that, um, yeah, your compat like when it comes to your also like your bedroom, a lot of compat like uh, chemistry between you two and a lot of passion. They're gonna see your family, your loved ones are gonna see the passion that they have for you. So whoever this person is, they are not cold. They are someone very lively, very like um, vivid and also with the fire energy coming through. They really shine and they're not going to be scared to um, show your family how much they care about you and how much they love you and how much passion they have for you. Also with the sun coming through and also with this, like, um, like with these, you know, like pumpkins here, um, it really looks like like fru fruition to me like something blossoming so your family is really gonna see how much um potential you know for the future you two have which is a beautiful thing guys now with the mother of earth coming through which is the queen of pentacles okay so this like your parents are going to see them as a great potential also with um the ace of fire in you know 
in combination. Your parents, your loved ones are going to see your future spouse as someone who is a great mother or father figure. Now guys, I know not everyone wants to have children. So of course, if this is not something you want, this will not resonate with you. Then this is someone else's message. Because obviously this is a general reading. But for a lot of you guys, your parents or your loved ones are going to see that they are or they will be a great father figure or a great mother figure. Now, if you already have children for some of you guys, they're going to be a great um, parent. There is no doubt about it. Also with the Queen of Earth coming through, she's like a very like hardworking parent. And also, I mean, I'm going to like, we will come to the like pentacles energy. But what I'm still seeing is that your parents will see them as a very like um, hardworking stable and secure and at the same time very like responsible person who always has time to um or takes the time so to speak to make sure to be a good parent as much as they can right because we all have like everyone has a different schedule when it comes to the work right but still they and guys i can feel it your future spouse if you want to have children they will be a great father and mother um you know with like I know it's the queen of pentacles, but it doesn't matter. It's all about energy. If you are asking about the divine masculine, then um, your future spouse is going to be someone very protective, someone who wants to share, who wants to provide. Um, although the king of pentacles is not in here, still I'm getting this energy coming through. Because in my mind's eyes, I'm I'm just seeing the couple. I'm seeing the queen and the king of pentacles. So if you are asking about the divine masculine, they're going to be a very responsible, very stable and secure, beautiful father figure um, and also a, a provider. If this is, of course, something you want, because I know not everyone wants to maybe... Um, you know someone else to provide for them so again take it how it resonates guys but even if this is a woman with the mother of earth coming through guys um she's going to be such a beautiful nourishing um you know mother or father whatever you are asking about very nourishing parent and also very um sensual you know very nourishing very sensual a very grounded energy and also secure, even like doesn't matter if this is the divine masculine or divine feminine, your parents, your loved ones are going to see that they are really secure. Yeah, and this is the kind of person, um, if, if like, for instance, your parents go to their place, they're going to see how grounded they are, how like, um, yeah, how much stability this person brings and has, which is such an important, um, you know, you know, uh, like, you know, aspect, not only when it comes to a spouse, but also within ourselves, you know, this feeling of stability and security, whether it be material or, you know, stability, and st like stability and security doesn't have to be always material. But um, I just feel like this being emphasized here in such a way is going to be a huge deal for your parents. So maybe for some of you guys, um, your parents like really like that's really important to them but this is what i'm getting now you also have the eight of earth and the ten of earth like you have the eight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles now guys listen closely so this person um no matter what they're working in they are really skilled they're like for some of you guys they could even be a, like an expert or someone who is really high in what they're doing really skilled very good and i feel like through maybe you know conversations like maybe your parents are going to talk with them about their job because i mean this is something parents tend to talk about when it comes to like their um potential in-laws so they're gonna you know have a community like a conversation with them and they're gonna see that your future spouse definitely has um the craft they like they know their craft and they're really good in what they're doing and honestly i feel like it's going to be like it's going to impress your parents this is really what i'm getting because this is a very hard working person i feel like whatever they have um they've worked for it so this is not the kind of person who has for instance like got it all from their 
ancestors or from their family no they have done the work like yeah this is coming through really really much and your like your parents your family are really gonna appreciate that and really admire like um admire this about them that they have put the effort in it and with the like with the ten of earth coming through it's working for them like the ten of earth literally in this deck is called wealth the wealth card so this is really all i can say your future spouse coming th is coming through as someone very stable and secure very abundant and yeah <laughs> what can i say this will be an impression your future like your parents or that your loved ones will have and your future spouse will come through as this as well they are going to you know to come through as someone who um, who has quite a lot to offer you no matter if you're a man or a woman they will be very grounded guys we have so much like grounded energy here also with the mother of earth coming through very grounded energy here Hmm. I feel like for some of you guys also with the devil coming through and the combination with the eight of earth maybe for some of you guys your parents are not really that materialistic maybe um I mean you know what I'm seeing is that your parents are going to really appreciate the fact that they have some kind of stability but for some of you guys with the devil coming through it could be the case that this person could come off maybe a little bit too materialism or um you know what should I say yeah maybe maybe for some of you guys your parents could have even maybe self-consciously um some kind of blockage or you know some kind of you know negativity when it comes to a lot of money because maybe for some of you guys um maybe someone has the kind of mindset that who, like people who have a lot of money they have either done bad things or they had to somehow you know do something to in order to get the money to become like uh, stable like stable or even like wealthy or abundant so i see that for some of you guys your parent um your parents may have some kind of issue with the fact that you know maybe they are a little bit to materialism maybe they will come and introduce themselves to your parents and maybe they will talk too much about their work and maybe your parents feel like um hey like are they like um are they trying to like buy us like you know what i mean because there is a huge emphasis here on um their stability and with the devil coming through so but this will only be for those of you guys who have this kind of parents who may um be how should i say it like i don't mean like humbled i mean this that's not what i mean but maybe a little bit cautious when it comes to people who have money like i want to be honest this is what i'm getting here so yeah maybe they think hey um this person they want our daughter or, or our, our like boy um and maybe they're trying to somehow manipulate us or trying to impress us with what they have right so maybe for some of your parents <laughs> are going to somehow feel that but this is not this person's intention not at all especially with the mother of earth coming through they are such a like um this is just the way they are and they can be like honestly this person can be proud of what they have achieved and even talk about it because it's all like it's all them and they have worked so hard for what they have so yeah but you know with the devil and the mother of fire coming through so this is really giving me the energy that this is the way they may come off for some of you guys like your parents may think that way that maybe this person likes to show off with their money maybe they have something very expensive going on maybe they're wearing brands or whatever but um this is not really the, what something they do to show off in a way because with the queen of wands coming through the queen of wands is also such a like nourishing and happy person um also the queen of what like um the mother of fire signifies confidence as well maybe it's the way they come off very confident that it somehow feels like they're a little bit cocky which they aren't they are not that way because we have the stability with the mother of earth here and also with the mother of fire which in a way balances out like balances out this devil energy for me you know the mother of fire is all about helping others to create to build so 
you know, the first impression or maybe your family at the beginning feels like this person is like this devilish energy, but then they get to know, no, this person actually does a lot with their money. They help other people. It's not like they put all the like money for themselves. I mean, even if they would put all the money for themselves, we who are we to judge? They can do whatever they want with their money. But I see that you know, it's may, it may come off a little bit negative to some to to someone's like parent, you know. But they are going to see that. Wait, it's not really that way. It's like they have this mother of fire side in which they actually give, like they actually help other people with the money they have, and this is really going to be um, balancing this energy out because I feel like for some this could be even like a first impression, um, but that your parents or your loved ones, your friends, whoever this is going to resonate with, they're really going to get to know them and see, yes, they may be powerful or yes, they may have some kind of, um, you know, like they have some kind of freedom when it comes to their money, but they also give back. And this is really going to, yeah, be a really important aspect for some reason. You know your parents, your loved ones better, so you know how it may resonate, but this is something I'm seeing. Now, with the three of fire coming through, guys, something that I'm also seeing is that for some of you guys, it could be the case that your future spouse is quite different from you. Now, the difference, as I always like to say, um, because this is a general reading, can be, it can go like either way. It can look very different for a lot of you guys. Because for some of you guys with the three of um, wands coming through, I don't know why, it really is giving me the energy of maybe for some of you guys, um, there could be some difference between you and your future spouse, maybe in, um, maybe in, you know, status, maybe in race or religion, not for everyone, again, it you will see how it resonates, or maybe even for some in location, maybe for some this could be something long distance as well, but not for all of you guys, for the minority for you actually. For the minority I'm seeing here. But anyway, still, these are the kind of differences I'm this is really giving me. Like, I don't know why, but I'm getting this energy. So they are going to see your future spouse as someone who's going to be pretty different from you. But guys, we have the ace of fire here and the three of fire here. So no matter the differences you're still compatible, you know, still things are working out. And this is just the way they came, like they are coming across. Again, guys, it can be only financial, but it can also go even like further than that. Even maybe personality wise, maybe someone is more of an introvert and the other person is more of an extrovert. But this is like, maybe some of people would say, hey, like, how can that work? But I feel like this is a beautiful like like um way of really exploring yourself more because um yeah somehow they're going mm, there's some kind of difference guys you know it for yourself like you will or if you don't know this person yet you will exp like explore it but whatever the differences are they are actually um it's, it's a beautiful way of you know um how should I say, of expanding your horizon. This is what I want to say, yeah. It's a beautiful way of expanding yourself. So, yeah. Also, what I'm seeing is that, um, yeah, for some of you guys, it could also be the case that this person lives somewhere really beautiful. So maybe um, they are from a place where, yeah, where maybe, you know, the na nature is really beautiful. Hmm. But also, guys, with the vision quest coming through and the three of fire i don't know why the three of fire is giving me such energy of like differences because that's not necessarily what it means in the tarot but i am an intuitive reader and i really trust in you know what i'm hearing and what i'm feeling so um with this combination here with like the difference energy i'm getting and also the hanged man which is the vision quest you know the hanged man is all about um maybe change of perception as well. So for some of you guys, it could be the case that your parents at the beginning thought that these differences, maybe they couldn't really work, but you're gonna like show them that that's not the case. In fact, you're gonna show them that it's possible. Even if 
we are different from our spouse, we can actually complement each other. Our differences can be something to, you know, have it like to, to expand our own horizon or just, yeah, to grow from, right? So yeah, and also with the six of water coming through, guys, with pleasure, I don't know why, I feel like I'm getting this energy of people laughing and um, like smiling. So I'm getting father. I feel like your father is really going to be, um, they're going to, how should I say, they're going to be compatible with this pal. So they're going to, you know, understand each other. Yeah, because maybe they're going to spend some time alone talking or even drinking for some of you guys, if this is, of course, something um, which you do in like um, which you're in your like family because not everyone likes to drink or wants to drink but even if it's just tea right it doesn't have to be alcohol but they're going to um, take some time to really like to talk and it's going to have a huge impact on your father I'm seeing but in a good way I'm getting in a good way here <sighs> yeah mm. And also for, I don't know why I'm getting this energy also here. For some of you guys, you could be in like from a, from a country where people wear some kind of traditional clothes, which is only from that region, like only from where you are, people wear some like some traditional clothes. Um, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. I don't know why this message came through, but this is something I needed to say. Yeah. Also, guys, with the six of water and the mother of earth here, it's really giving me child energy. So, yeah, for some of you guys, if you would like to have children, I see this coming through. So for pile one, let's get you, let's get you some more cards here. Oh my goodness. One card fell. Yeah, look at this. We have peace. We have peace coming through. So, yeah, you don't really need to worry, like... Your parents or your loved ones, they're really going to see, yeah, see, creativity. Yeah, it's all about creation in your pile. So they're going to really see how compatible you are. And even if you have differences or even if there are some stuff um, they may be a little bit cautious of, at the end of the day, it matters that you two love each other and that you are good for each other. And with peace coming through, they're going to see, your parents, they're going to see how much um, they bring, like, fulfillment to you, this connection, you know, this love. Let's get you one more card. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of cards fell. Give me a moment, guys. All right, I'm just going to take this one that um, flipped over. So give me a moment. Okay. Yeah, look at, guys, see how much passion we have. You have passion ignited. So yeah, guys, the passion between you two is going to be overwhelming for sure. Mm, I think this card also signifies the Ace of Wands, but I'm not quite sure, but I believe so. So guys, like your parents are going to see that. They're going to see how much like they, like this, your future spouse is going to be good for you, is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. <sighs> And how much they care. They're going to see how much your future spouse genuinely cares about you. Let's get you one last card. One last card, please. Oh my goodness. Great. <laughs> the card fell. Okay. You got light in your load. Yeah, look at this. I told you guys. I really felt this. I feel like for some, again... There could be some differences in some kind of way. For some with the globe coming through, um, maybe there's even some kind of travel involved between you two. This is, or, or if it's not, like, if it's not big travel, it can also just mean maybe um, you, like, maybe some driving or so, but maybe a longer drive even. But, um, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Now, with the light in your low, the passion united, and the peace. So what I'm seeing is that your future, like your um, your parents or your loved ones, whoever this is going to resonate with, they're going to see how how much um, how good this person is to you. What do I mean with that? Um, they're going to see that they really care about you. They care about your well being. They care about your mental health, your emotional health. They really want your best. This is like this is what I can sum this up. 
your parents or your loved ones they're gonna see that and they're gonna see that this is genuinely someone who you know who who is good for you this is what i mean who's good for you and not only when it comes to your well-being but also when it comes to your um to your private life your loved one like your loved life as well it's just they always they're always there look at this there is like um a person here so yeah they're gonna see it mm. pile one this is a beautiful reading so please feel free to let me know how you feel about it and if you liked it feel free to like comment and subscribe if you haven't and if you would also like to get some tarot content on your instagram my channel's instagram account is in the description box down below and i invite you there as well but yeah pal one take care hey pal two welcome to your reading my dear now let's see how will your family your loved ones react to your future spouse so what we're gonna do my dears i will first get you some tarot cards and then we will end your reading with some oracle cards so let's just start right away as i already said in pile one i'm very excited about this reading so let's see what comes out for you guys so for pile two let's get you some cards all right okay you got the moon coming through that's interesting. So I will first get you all the tarot cards and then I will start, you know, with the interpretation because that's just easier and um, you don't need to wait that much. All right. So the two of swords. Oh, my goodness. The magician. Okay, one card fell, guys. All right. The eight of wands fell. Let's get you some more cards. We got the Emperor. Nice. I'm already getting this, like, with the Emperor coming through, a message I also got for Pile 1. So for those of you guys who may have been um, struggling, you know, choosing between Pile 1 and Pile 2, maybe you were drawn to Pile 1 as well, then feel free to check it out. You got the Seven of Pentacles. Now let's get you two more cards and then we will start. Ooh, the star. Nice. Pile two. Okay, one last card for pile two, please. And there it is. Let's see, guys. All right, and we got the seven of cups coming through. Okay, let me make sure you can see all the cards, but it looks good so far. All right, pile two. And the back of the deck, we have four of swords coming through. Now, I'm just going to start right away. So, first of all, pile two. Okay, so I'm going to start with the moon card, first of all. So, for a lot of you guys, what I'm feeling is that um, it could be the case that, you know, before you, um, you, you tell your, like, family or your loved ones or whoever, you know, this will apply to, before you tell them that this is actually someone you're dating or someone this, who you want to marry, that there is some time that you will actually keep it a secret. You will not let everyone know. And also, um, not only your family, but for some of you guys, maybe it's really for some time only between you and this person because of privacy. And with the star coming through, it could also be the case for some of you guys that this person is well known for something. For instance, in their community, they could be well-known maybe in their workplace. Somehow, they are well-known. It could even be popular. You know, for some, it could even be on social media. But for the majority of you guys, it could be within a certain community, I'm hearing. Now, because of that, because maybe a lot of eyes or, um, you know, are on this person or... Again, maybe a lot of people know them. Maybe even your for some of you guys, maybe your family even knows them. Um you chose you and them chose actually to keep it a secret for now so you know um like other people are not in your business so this is the first message i got like even before going in the main like topic which is what their reaction will be so you know because of this reason i feel like for like some of you guys it will be pretty surprising um to see that like your family they will be pretty surprised of this person because maybe for some um they did not expect really you to end up with like this kind of person maybe because of certain reasons but this is really something i'm getting 
But regardless, what I'm seeing is that this is someone even better than they actually um, expected you to end up with. Like this is, yeah, this is a message I'm getting big time. Because also, you know, the moon card can also signify dreams. And with, you know, dreams coming through for me, it really tells me that, you know, this is even someone better that they hoped for, like you end up with. Yeah, like your family, for instance, always hoped for you to end up with a certain person or a certain type. And this will even be better for them than they actually expected. So, um... This surprise is not a bad surprise, like, it, like it's actually even the opposite I'm seeing, because, yeah, this is a really good person, like, um, let me see, hmm. you know, yeah, what I'm also getting, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe for some reason, you know, with this woman, and then there are, like, these two ravens on top of her head, for some reason, some of you guys may really keep this for for some time as a secret, uh, maybe you feel like when you tell your parents, like, too soon, that they will, you know, come into your business, and, you know, try to somehow move stuff, or, you know, somehow influence you or even your future spouse. So with the moon card and the two of swords with the like imaginary, because most of the time, like I often get like intuitive messages coming through. This really gives me this feeling of, you know, you will not be like at the beginning, you may like take some time to open up to your parents about your future spouse because you just want to um, keep it private for some time. And again, I can definitely see why with the star and also the emperor coming through. But regardless, guys, coming back, coming back to um, what the reading is actually about. So what your parents or your loved ones, right, are going to see is that first of all, with the emperor coming through here, guys, this person, this future spouse of yours has a really good position in whatever they're doing. This actually is the reason why I thought maybe some of you guys are also, um, you know, we're also drawn to Pile 1 because I believe Pile 1 also got a similar message coming through. So for those of you guys who may um, been like drawn to Pile 1 as well, feel free to check it out. But your person, you know, is someone who definitely has um, some kind of authority figure when it comes to their job they have some kind of power with the emperor coming through you know the emperor is all about someone who is in a great position they are some kind of leader again also with the star coming through guys maybe they are a leader or some kind of um mentor of some kind of you know community or a certain group of people um, but coming back also with the emperor coming through, you know, the emperor is also all about power. And with the moon and the emperor in here, I feel like for some reason you may have or you may feel like you need to um, hide this from your loved ones because maybe f first, um, yeah, for some reason you don't want your parents or your loved ones from the beginning to know that, to know maybe who this person like actually is with like all their prestige I'm hearing. For some reason, like, you know, we'll know it for yourself, but this is a message I'm getting. But also, you know, the um, the emperor is someone very analytical. And I feel like you guys are definitely the more spiritual people here. So maybe you guys are different in a sense that um, they may be more analytical, more practical, and you will be more of the spiritual, you know, um, type I'm seeing here. Yeah, maybe you, for some of you guys, not for everyone, of course, you have a family who is, for instance, more spiritual. And maybe they always hoped for you ending up with someone who's spiritual, um, but then they are a little bit more analytical. And maybe that's why someone likes to hide some stuff. But still, this person is even better than what they expected you to end up with, you know, if you know what I mean. Because um, for some reason... For some reason, I'm seeing here coming through. Yeah, but you know, this person in general, you know, with the Emperor, on also the Seven of Pentacles coming through, this is definitely someone who put, puts the effort, you know, into like everything, especially like for instance, if they are in a relationship, they are willing to put the work in it and they are willing to make it grow. And what I'm seeing is that when it comes to the, you know, relationship they are going to have with your family, it's a really growing one. So 
I see that no matter who your parents are and no matter who this individual is, no matter if they're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. But um, y y like your future spouse and your family, they will really um, spend a lot of time with each other and really get to know each other. Like with the Seven of Pentacles, as you can see, there are like seeds, like uh, there are pentacles, but it looks like seeds. And then, you know, this plant is like growing from the roots. So they will actually have a really stable connection with your family. So for those of you guys, like maybe for some, you always feared that what if my future spouse does not really get along with my family or what if um, there could be some differences that you know could lead to some problems or maybe some disagreement or so what i'm seeing for you guys is that you and your fam like you and your future spouse and your family you will actually <clears throat> oh my goodness my throat check <laughs> guys pile one also got this maybe someone needs to work on their wish at the um the throat chakra but anyways so <laughs> sorry guys so as i was saying um what i feel is that you know, you will have a very firm foundation and your spouse will actually have a very firm foundation when it comes to your family in a relationship, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very um, solid foundation, very solid foundation because this is the kind of person who is willing to put like all the effort in it. So for instance, they are willing to, um, you know, like go to your parents and put the energy and talk, you know, spend quality time with them in order to really create a good, yeah, relationship with them. So, yeah, this is definitely something really important and you should really be grateful of that. Like this card also literally talks about great, like gratitude or like being thankful. So, yeah definitely make sure to be thankful for that but also with them guys look at this the magician and the emperor so whoever this person is they are quite established they are quite good in what they're doing oh my goodness this is so similar to pal one i feel like a lot of you know people may watch pal one like are um watching pal one and two and this is why the energies are quite mixing in some ways i'm seeing here this is really weird but i feel like um yeah, there's some kind of parallels between pile one and two. Again, guys, if you are drawn to pile one as well, feel free to check it out. But your future spouse, they are someone who have like their shit together. They have like, they have everything put together for them. They are great in what they're doing in their business and their work. Um, they are definitely like really respected. And also, this is because they are good in what they're doing. They have the skills, they have the knowledge, and this is what your family will see. You know, your family will see that this is an individual who definitely has everything put together. And maybe this is also the reason why your family will see that you ended up with, with like someone who um, they even like they didn't even dream of because um, maybe they didn't like that their hope was not that. Um, I mean, guys, I'm not saying that, like, I don't know, but this is a message I'm getting that for some, um, maybe someone's parent thought that, you know, this, like, be getting someone like this may not be, like, um, possible, but this is so not the case because with the emperor, yeah, this is, yeah, this is really a dream come true for your parents because this is the kind of, you know, son or daughter-in-law, they really um, want it, but maybe they did not really think could happen for some reason I'm seeing here, you know, for yourself, perhaps maybe why, or, you know, how your parents or your loved ones think, but this is what I'm getting, I'm just the messenger, so yeah, and I'm real, and I really need to say these things here, so also with the star coming through, guys, you know the way this woman is like looking up to this like star and like in hope or in like um you know like you know the star card guys literally also talks about wish fulfillment about like wishes being gr granted and you got the star and you got the moon which also talks about dreams in a way so whoever your future spouse is your parents are going to see them as someone 
who they always hoped for you ending up with because they have some qualities that your parents or your loved ones really appreciate in a person and especially in um, a son or daughter-in-law. And, you know, because they love you so much, obviously, um, like because your parents or loved ones love you so much, this is actually... Yeah, this is really like such a wish fulfillment for them because they know you are going um, to, you know, they're going to like, um, like you're going to be with someone who they can like, they have a good feeling about and they can like sleep at night and know that um, whoever you chose to spend your life with is actually someone really good and is someone that really, you know, um, has your best interest. And also with the star coming through, you know, the star also like talks at, about um, like opportunities at times. So I feel like this person somehow is going to bring a lot of opportunities in your like um, in your life as well. For some reason, maybe with the emperor coming through it could be something material or but it, it, it could actually be anything that doesn't matter but they are going to like open some doors for you this is what i basically want to say with this combination right here so this is definitely something your parents like are going to see or your loved ones of course right and for some of you guys um not for everyone of course maybe someone in here um was in like quite toxic relationships or for some yeah, just some kind of bad relationships in the past and maybe your parents for some of course or your loved ones have like seen you in this situation and therefore they're going to see how um how beautiful this combination is because they know that like what you have been through and this is why they also appreciate this so much I'm getting here. Yeah. But also guys, honestly with the 8 of wands coming through, um your family is going to have like a really good um you know like how should i say it a really good feeling about this person and therefore they actually would prefer this union to happen fast like the eight of wands is all about speed guys so i see that for instance if your like future spouse gets to know your family and this happens and you know they get all this like impression of this person they would really like things to happen like fast so you can actually be together. Yeah, because they really want you to stay with this person. Yeah, with the Four of Swords as well. For some of you guys, you may be actually like your parents or your loved ones. Uh, for those who may have been in bad situations in life or even bad relationships, they will see how healing this connection is for you. And therefore, they will see this like as such a like um blessing well, yeah because for some maybe that's the case maybe for some of you guys you for yourself never thought that you could end up with this kind of person and this is the kind of energy i'm getting why they n never thought that um you could end up with someone like this maybe this is more so also your energy maybe this is all your energy that um yeah, maybe you you feel like you, this doesn't this can't happen for you. You know, you cannot get your wish fulfillment, for instance, because also with the seven of cups. I mean, look at this. The star talks about opportunities, and the seven of cups like literally talks about options, right? So there is a lot you can expect with your future spouse, because um, they may have a lot of you know different things to offer. Maybe they know a lot of people, they have a lot of like great, um, you know, connections or they have a lot of, um, you know, material stuff to bring on the table or a lot of intellectual stuff, a lot of emotional stability, a lot of mental like, um, st like um, stimulation, right? So there's a lot, a lot that this person will bring to you and therefore... Yeah, you know, the Seven of Cups literally talks also about like a wishful um, belief or a wishful thinking. And then there is the star who literally talks about a wish being granted. So I love how these cards are literally like all complementing each other. So yeah, guys, all in all, how your family is really going to react to this person. They're going to see them as someone who is like a blessing in your life and who truly can bring a lot of good. Let's get you, um, let's get you some 
oracle cards oh my goodness let's see you got universal light coming through yeah see light and hmm, so for some of you guys maybe in your past relationships or if not relationships maybe just in your life in general there was not really a lot going on or maybe it at times was like really um yeah just stagnant or not really the best not really like vivid and they will see that you know your future spouse in a way has brought some light into your life or maybe even into you maybe for some of you guys you were very hopeless and you know getting to know this person in some ways they may cheer you up um on different levels mm. okay let's see yeah look at this what did i say financial and material changes and then we have the ring so yeah guys also with the emperor and the uh, magician and everything and we have the number five so this person could actually bring yeah material changes into your life so maybe again um maybe for some they could be really good off and therefore your family will like really see that you know you coming into union with them will really change your life for the better and this is exactly like this opportunities because they may have some influence also with the emperor who literally talks about how like this card literally talks about power so they will see that um being with this person actually can enhance your life on different levels here okay um one card fell guys let me see Okay, we have, oh my goodness, <laughs> we have truth coming through. Yeah, so with the also truth card coming through, oh my goodness, look at this, blessings. What did I say? Like, what am I saying the whole time? Your family is gonna see your future spouse as a blessing. I mean, look at how much like, um, like light like here 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 and like here as well like there's always like this one spot which like uh has so much like light coming through it so also with truth coming through you know um your future spouse and this is really the key it's not only about maybe what they can bring to the table but at the same time with truth coming through they're a very genuine person they have like their heart is in the right spot and this is i guess this like one um aspect which will really be um setting like everything together for your family or your loved ones that yes they have quite a lot to offer but at the same time this is not someone um who may be fake or who may be just faking everything faking being a good person but then right after some time showing their um true self and as i told you guys um you you i think you um you felt that i like my throat was really like strange and then i said maybe someone you know there's something with vishati with the throat chakra so and we have truth and the throat chakra um is very like you know like connected to uh, our truth in a way so so yeah guys for some of you guys if you would like to manifest this person in maybe there's some kind of um like work you need to do when it comes to your um to your like vishati i'm seeing here and also guys with the star and this mirror like sometimes mirror like gives me the energy of like social media like some kind of distance so for some of you guys your future spouse could actually be known in and like somehow through the internet i'm getting here as well or maybe there's some kind of distance between you two guys and um yeah hmm. maybe your parents for some time for those of course the distance resonates maybe they've just seen them on pictures or like you know like not really in reality and then they meet them and yeah hmm. that's what i'm seeing for some of you guys yeah let me see but yeah, also with, again, truth coming through, this is really beautiful balancing energy I'm getting here. Because it's not only about this, like, um, like very powerful energy. No, it's also this very, like, um, very gentle energy that's coming through. And I feel like this is something very important. Because, for instance, maybe sometimes our parents may 
you know, think that when we come, like when we are with someone who may for some reason have some influence that they could somehow, um, you know, cage us or, you know, in some ways maybe um, be not controlling but so, uh, still have a lot of like maybe influence on us. But they are not like this. Although they may have a lot or somehow a lot of things happening for them, they are so genuine and um yeah this is not someone to control you or you know do anything of that sort so for some of you guys if you have been with people who were quite controlling for instance this is not the kind of person but yeah all like um all in all this is definitely a great impression your family your loved ones are going to have and also guys again i feel like for some of you guys maybe there are some messages for like in pile one as well because with the emperor coming through it really gave me pile one vibes so yeah but yeah guys so if you like this reading feel free to like comment and subscribe and if you haven't um yeah feel free to do so and also guys if you would like to get some tarot content on your instagram as well my channel's instagram account is in the description box down below and i invite you there as well but yeah pal two take care Hey pal 3, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see, how will your family or loved ones react to your future spouse? So what we're gonna do my dear is I will first get you some tarot cards and then yeah, we will end your reading with some oracle cards as well. So let's see for pal 3. Let's see for pal 3. How will your family react to your future spouse? Let's see. Let's get you, okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, King of Swords also came out for pile one, I believe. Was it pile one? I think so, or, well, I'm not quite sure, anyways. So let's uh, go on. Um, what I will do, my dears, I will first get all the cards, I will get the spread, and then I will start, because that way it's just faster. So let me get another card for you guys. What have you? We? Oh my goodness, you got the Four of Wands coming through. This is amazing. Four of Wands is literally the marriage card. Wow, pal. Three. Let's see what we, we have here. A card fell. All right, we have the Four of Cups coming through as well. So let's see for pile three. Let's get you some more cards. How will your family react? Okay, one card fell. Wow, you got the Ten of Pentacles. What's going on? Like, I swear, um, all the piles got like someone who was like financially quite good off. And um, this is pretty impressive. I mean, I'm shuffling on camera. So like the fact that I think pile one, well, pile two got the Emperor and you got the Ten of Pentacles. Like, wow. All right, please let the cards fall down. Please let them fall down. Okay. We have the Page of Wands. All right. Let's get you some more cards for pile three. Oh my goodness. Wow, we got two kings coming through. We have the King of Swords and we got the King of Cups. Wow, pile three. Um, That's amazing. And look here, we also got the Ace of Pentacles. Now let's get you one more card. All right. What is it? Wow. And you got the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Pile three. That's so weird. I swear, guys. I feel like all the piles had someone like, like financially, um, especially Pile two. I don't like remember Pile one anymore that good. But um, Pile two for sure was someone who was, yeah, the Emperor, pretty established. And um, with you guys, definitely someone who has their things together as well. Like with so much stable energy with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. But anyways, let me see guys if you can see everything and then I will start. And at the back of the deck, you got the Queen of Cups. Oh my goodness, look at this. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. We have like counterparts here. And oh my goodness, are you... Are you kidding me? We have the king and queen of swords. We have the queen of king of cups. And we have the king and queen of pentacles. 
Oh my goodness, like, are you serious? And I just saw 333, three, three, so maybe someone sees a lot of repeating numbers. Guys, like, with so much synchronicity coming through, first of all, before going into the main, like, um, reading, there is one thing I need to mention. Whoever this um, person is, and I did not get this for the other piles. This is a spiritual connection you have within any, like, doubt. You have so many, like, counterparts coming through energetically with, like, the king and queens here. So, yeah, you are going to marry someone who is your counterpart or who you have a spiritual connection with. Now, I know not everyone may um, believe in spiritual connections, so, of course, take it how it resonates. Always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, but, guys, I cannot, like, um, deny it. There is so much, like, um, counterparts coming through. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's, it's amazing. I never had this, like, that's, wow. Like, seriously. But anyways, guys, so um, let me start. So how will your f family react to your future spouse? So honestly, first of all, um, when the cards fell... I saw like like when the king of swords fell it I didn't even like pay like attention to the king of swords meaning itself I was drawn to these like wings immediately so what I'm seeing is that your future spouse is going to be someone who will be quite protective like very protected I'm seeing through here and um this is definitely something your family is going to notice, but um, it's nothing bad. So this is not like something controlling or so, no. They are just really, con um, just really, you know, how should I say it? Yeah, really protective. Also, for some of you guys, it could be the case that this person wears in uniform or wears some kind of t like... Um, clothes for their job maybe or maybe just in general maybe when they will meet your family or loved ones they will be wearing that and for some reason um it will be like in their like it will be visible i think i got this message for pile one as well maybe for some of you guys um it could be the case that you are from a place where um people from that region wear certain maybe traditional clothes or just in general some type of clothes of course not for everyone but maybe for some of you guys um, and I see this coming through, I see they will be wearing something like this. But yeah, first of all, um, with the King of Swords coming through, an impression your family or will have of this person, of your future spouse, is that with the King of Swords, like, your future spouse is someone very intellectual. And I feel like this is something which will be very impressive to your family. Maybe your family, um, again... I'm not sure if this came out for pile one as well, but maybe for um, some of you guys, your family, um, for them, it's really important um, for you to be with someone who may be well trained or has some kind of education or even like qualification or PhD or so, right? Because I know for some people, it may be, you know, of some kind of importance. And this is the message I'm getting. So with the King of Swords, the King of Swords is someone who like... Um, like intellectually is like like so like straightforward they like know a lot and they're very also intelligent so this is really the way they're going to like come across to your family um but it's yeah so if you have a family who you know maybe it's a little bit important for them for you to be with someone who brings like something mentally also to the table then this will definitely be something your family will um, appreciate about them because also with the king of swords you know the king of swords is obviously a king and it literally like in the traditional tarot also talks about a leader about someone who may be guiding some like people um like yeah like a leader does right so what i'm seeing is that um, it could be the case that whatever this person works um, as, they definitely need to, you know, use their mind. And it's really sharp. And they're also a great communicator. I feel like they are going to impress your parents for some reason or your loved ones um, with their speech or with the way they're, like, articulate themselves. They are really smart when it comes to that. And I feel like, yeah, hmm, they, they, they are well 
um, spoken? Is that is that even a phrase? But like they can, um, yeah, they can like lead a conversation and really let it be flowy. Like, yeah, it's really impressive. I feel like your family is really going to be um, spending time alone, just having conversations with them. And through that, it's really gonna um, bring a lot of clarity to your family and at the same time really impress them with the amount of... Um, mental like um cap capacity <laughs> um they bring in yeah for sure so all in all this is a very smart person this is what i want to say um but what i'm also getting is that you know although they are maybe um maybe they could be in some kind again with the king of swords the king of swords is someone who you know, is maybe even a leader or, or maybe they have a good position. Um, although the king of swords in he is in here, we also have a page coming through. And the page of wands is like, yeah, you know, the page of wands is like such a beautiful, like um, creative energy. Like this is a beautiful balance between the mind and like the creative side, the passionate side. So whatever they do, they love it. They are passionate about it. This is someone who has a lot of new ideas. This is someone who always likes to learn more and more and more. So for some of you guys, this could actually be a young person as well who has established themselves already. Mm, yeah, this is something I'm seeing. And if they are older for some of you guys, they still have this young energy about them. <sighs> yeah, let me see. Also, again, with this dragon, there's some kind of um, protectiveness coming th from them. And for some of you guys, maybe they even play an instrument or so. Yeah, you know, guys, you know what I'm getting? They are going just to try to impress your parents or your loved ones with everything they have. It either being like certain experiences they think they should share with your parents in order, you know, maybe to put a good impression on. Um, of course, not in a manipulating way, no, in a like genuine way. Or for instance, if there is like some kind of music instrument there, they would like to play it, you know, to like show the skill off, right? So yeah, they really want to, like for your future spouse, it's really important to impress your um, your parents. And this is going to have a like beautiful um, impact on your parents as well. Because yeah, they're gonna see this. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing that... Um, you know, whenever this is going to happen, you will definitely also have some kind of um, dinner with your future spouse and your family. And this will also bring you closer for some reason I'm seeing coming through. Now, guys, with the four of wands coming through. Now, the four of wands, guys, for everyone who um, doesn't know anything about tarot is like literally this wedding card this like marriage card everyone hopes to get when it comes to these like situations and honestly with the four of wands coming through simply said how are your parents going to react when it comes to your future spouse well they're gonna see them as someone who's marriage material to you someone you can actually no matter if you're asking about a man or a woman doesn't matter it's all energy um, someone who fits you, someone who your family really can like imagine you being with and also the fourth one talks about celebration so I feel like you know um, no matter where this is it's going to be in a very light heart setting maybe even again music is playing in the background and um, the impressions your family is going to get from your future spouse are in a very like cozy and very friendly environment so there is no like um negative or concerning energy in this setting i'm seeing here like literally nothing nothing to really be worrying about um but also with the four of wands coming through guys again yeah they're gonna see your future spouse as someone who's quite stable when it comes to relationships and when it comes to like home life in general maybe your future spouse will come off of someone who's like very family orientated or someone who's very like all about marriage, all about wedding, about a very stable commitment, right? And this is something I'm seeing. And yeah, this is the impression that your future spouse are, is going to give off um, when it comes to, yeah, your family I'm seeing here for sure. But also the fourth ones can, you know, um, 
signify like abundance or prosperity and this with the combination of the ace of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is mind-blowing like we literally have um eight cards here and like four of them literally talks about financial stability or the material or just like stability and security like in general right so yeah, this is a huge thing. I think guys, pal, was it pal one or pal two? I think it was pal one. Pal one, there was also someone who was quite, like, I don't know why, but in this, like, reading, in this pick a card, like, this aspect of, like, money is coming through in every reading. Like, that's so weird. I feel like some of you guys are definitely going to watch multiple piles um, and the energy is really flowy like there is no like the boundaries within the piles are really like yeah they're flowy <laughs> for sure maybe for some of you guys you were also drawn to pile two or pile one like if you were drawn to another pile you can definitely feel free to check it out right mm. what i'm also seeing guys is that your family like look at the way this man is like looking up to this woman but it's in a really like respectful um it's almost yeah it's a really like respectful formal manner so what i see is that um your family is definitely going to see how much your future spouse respects you and i think that this is a huge 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 um aspect and also with the king of cups you know the king of cups is someone who is very mature again guys also with the page of wands it doesn't matter their age this could even be someone who is very young no matter their age they're really mature for their age this is what i want to say and also with the king of cups coming through the king of cups is someone who is emotionally very mature and the beauty in this combination is that we have the four of wands and here we have the king of cups who literally talks about you know emotional like stability or literally also you know love and um yeah this combination guys like wow whoever your future spouse is with the king of cups and the king of swords they have a beautiful balance between emotions and mental like mentally um the mental level like the mental body and the emotional body yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Let me see. I also feel like, um, yeah, for some of you guys, the, this, um, this meeting, like this, um, meeting with your, like, parents or your loved ones could be at night time, you know, while they will get these impressions I'm seeing coming through. But, you know, also with the King of Cups, your parents or your loved ones are going to see them as someone very balanced. And this is what I mean. Like the King of Cups means um, is a card who can also signify balance. And then I, I told you guys, the King of Swords and the King of Cups, yeah. A lot of beautiful balance they are going to um, port like portray, right? And also the King of Cups is also someone who can be a great leader. So we have two cards here coming through who talk about someone who may be leading or may be in some kind of position and also the way they are like all sitting down like yeah very grounded mm. that's definitely what i'm seeing here and also um this king of cups or this person they're going to be very supportive of you and for some reason this will be visible when your parents are around and they're gonna notice that and yeah Maybe for some of you guys, you did not have a lot of um, maybe relationships that were that like um, supportive, whatever the reason is, they're going to see that this is, yeah, they are really supportive of you, very supportive. So whatever you would like to do, for instance, even if it's something other people don't understand, maybe a goal or just in general, something you would like to accomplish, they will be a greatest supporter with the King of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. yeah let me see uh, sorry guys i'm getting messages coming through and i just feel like for a minute um i need to you know like um like sit down or just listen because sometimes i'm being bombarded and this is like the exact moment that's being happening yeah um yeah but coming back guys so what i'm also seeing is that i feel like for yeah for some of you guys it could be the case that 
you may not like maybe you grew up in um like with financial maybe even um problems or maybe issues like i feel like also with the four of cups coming through for some reason maybe um someone in here like of course if it doesn't resonate it will be for someone else but for some of you guys you may have been like um yeah maybe not with the best because with the ace of pentacles and the four of cups here yeah maybe for some of you guys you actually um yeah maybe for some of you guys not for everyone of course but maybe for some you have introduced to your parents different partners or um, people and your like parents just were not really um, impressed by them because they thought this person's not good enough for you or they are just not the right person right um, so maybe this was something that happened in the past but what I'm seeing is that with this person coming through with the ace of pentacles it's something so solid like yeah it's going to be obvious like if your parents in the past um, were not really happy with like um maybe the the partners the potential partners you had you know maybe they thought like this is not the thing or they really like they were frustrated maybe even at times because yeah mm, that's what i'm seeing but of course not for everyone because regardless um even if it doesn't resonate for like everyone with the ace of pentacles coming through and also the four of wands like right here guys this person is someone who will definitely lay a lot of firm foundations when it comes to their relationship and the commitment in general. For instance, it could be the case that um, you will introduce your future spouse to your parents and you will not talk anything about marriage whatsoever, but everyone will know. Everyone will know because they will give off this energy of um, being very like stable when it comes to relationships and really wanting to put grounding like energy like a grounded foundation basically and this is definitely something i'm seeing for you guys and again um you know again like this is like your future spouse will come off as someone who's really um ambitious as well i'm seeing here yeah yeah they i'm telling you guys also with the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles literally talks about like plain and simple you know like wealth about abundance prosperity like like when it comes to the material world really having everything like put together you know it's like hmm. so i feel like yeah like you know with the ten of pentacles and the four of wands they will make sure to let your parents know or your loved ones know that they really want to for instance they want the marriage like immediately or they want to um you know like move in like you moving in with them or you know, you know this union because yeah they want it pretty fast i'm seeing here because um they're really like not pretty fast in like for instance pile two was like um like in pile two the family really wanted everything like fast to happen this is not the case like this is pentacles energy it's slower but what i mean with that is like your future spouse is going to be so grounded and so serious when it comes to relationship that they want to take it to the next level like yeah they would like they will tell your family immediately that they want to marry you this is what i want to say like they will make sure that, that all everything is on the table everything is clear the king of swords they tell what they mean like it's all about speaking your truth the king of swords so they will just let your family know i want to marry your daughter or your son and yeah you know also with the ten of pentacles coming through for some of you guys maybe you would like to have children um yeah or grandchildren for your like parents um but of course if this is something you want if you don't want that then just leave it but this is what i'm seeing as well with the ten of pentacles because ten of pentacles is also for me um similar to the ten of cups i always see like this family dynamic coming through who literally has like when it comes to the material room everything put together for them so yeah your future spouse guys i mean what can i say like you have so much pentacles energy they are someone abundant like i cannot deny it you also have the queen of pentacles coming through Hmm. and the queen of pentacles as well is maybe 
um, you know, is someone who can also signify maybe a, like a mother figure. So yeah, and with the Ten of Pentacles there as well. So maybe there will, this person may want to have children with you. So you need to see for yourself if this is something you want or not. If not, of course, you know, nothing is set in stones. But if you would like that, then they will definitely also appreciate that and would want that as well. Because honestly, the Ten of Pentacles also talks about a legacy. So maybe they really would like their future generations to maybe take on the business they have or whatever it is. So yeah, so it can like go on and you know, this is what I'm seeing here for sure. Hmm. I think Pal One also got this energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, guys, for some, if you were drawn to Pal One, feel free to check it out. But yeah, again, this is a very generous person, very grounded. Like, there is groundness all over here. Like, guys, like, if you just know a little bit about tarot, like with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Also with the King of Cups, which talks a lot about emotional stability to me. So so all in all, guys, you know, they're gonna have this impression, like your family's gonna have this impression of them that um, they're very stable. And maybe this is really something your family, like maybe it's very important to them for sure. Let's get you some Oracle cards. Let's see. For pile three. Let's get some more information. Okay. Look at this. We have play. So yeah, no matter their age, they definitely have this playful um, energy about them. Wow, we have dreams. I got this message in PAL 2 as well. Like, this is such... Like, this immediately threw me to PAL 2. Because the moon card came out for PAL 2. And I got this intuitive like message of dreams for them so guys without like how will your family react to this person for a lot of you um this may be a wish like a dream something your your um parents really hoped for um because this is someone who's like they are all about marriage and this is a great quality about them like this is such a loyal person like with them you would never, like, you, you'd you never have to worry about, like, unfaithfulness or all this crap, right? So, no. And also with dreams, guys, for some of you guys, it could be the case that um, maybe, you know, maybe you are currently, like, um, seeing them in your dreams or maybe you're dreaming of them is also what I'm getting. So, one card fell, guys. Give me a moment. One card fell. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh my, again, oh my, guys, happiness. Look at this. So yeah, this is really, your family, they're gonna, they're just gonna be happy. They're going to be really happy about um, this potential partner for you because they are serious about you. They're emotionally stable. They're uh, mentally stable. They are physically, like material-wise, they are also stable. And... They are so different than the other people you had in your life. If, of course, you have been in relationships and your parents or your loved ones have um, met them. But with happiness coming through, what, what more can I say, guys? Like, with happiness coming through, it's like, this card is really talking for itself. Oh my goodness, and you got new beginnings. Wow, look at this, yeah. So you two coming together, guys, um, first of all, with this globe or this like um, world, um, like Mother Earth coming through here. Yeah, Mother, I said Mother and here we have the Queen of Pentacles. So guys, if you want to children, then yeah, then for sure, this is what I'm seeing. But just in general, coming back, um, for some of you guys, it, there could be some travel involved in here. I'm just going to say it. Um, some kind of travel, maybe even some kind of distance or um, if not distance, maybe for some of you guys, you could be from two different parts of the world or there could be something different about you. But regardless, the differences, you still, we have so many counterparts here because sometimes like it's um, sometimes like this is something I've seen quite a lot. People who like, um, how should I say it? Like who are like such a great match from the outside could be looking pretty different right so yeah sometimes like 
the differences can really be an illusion because there's still so much that um, pushes these two individuals together and this is what I'm also seeing for you guys. Maybe for some you will meet them through traveling, maybe um, someone could be, I don't know why I'm getting also Middle Eastern here coming through as well. Mm, yeah, uh, anyway, so this is just something I'm also seeing, but don't worry, um, this is just a message, maybe for someone specific. But again, coming back, guys, so what I'm seeing is that, um, yeah, for you and for them, it's going to be just a beautiful new beginning, a beautiful new cycle, like the new beginnings card is, for me, this is like the full card, and the full is all about taking a leap of faith and going on a new journey. So your parents are, or your loved ones are going to see that you will actually start a new phase in your life, which is really needed. And it's so promising. Like, seriously, look at the spread. Look at the spread and then maybe, I don't know, look up some of these meanings and you will know what I, I'm talking about because there, this is like such a beautiful spread. And yeah, your family will definitely have a great, great impression of this person because they are great this is like a genuine great person on so many levels guys on so many levels but yeah guys so pile three if you like this reading feel free to like comment and subscribe and tell me definitely what you feel about this and if it resonated of course and yeah also if you would like to get some tarot content on your instagram my channel's instagram account is in the description box down below and I invite you there as well. But yeah, pal three, take care.